YouTube, once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast. Talking Auburn football. Go ahead and share this video to as many media outlets as you feel compelled to do so. The question on the floor, is Tank Bigsby the best running back in the SEC? Or can he be? Can he even be the best running back in the nation? And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger War Eagle. Now, there are a lot of layers that a lot of folks just really don't take into account of the fact that, of course, Auburn is under a different level of leadership. Brian Harson on boards after Auburn beats Mississippi State last game of the season. Most of you remember where you were when you found out that Gus Malzahn was no longer the head coach. I was actually taking a nap. I got up. I had like a, I'm not going to say a, a million, but it was a lot of text messages that I woke up to. Uh, especially some of my supporters here on YouTube. That was like, holy shit, Gus, Gus Malzahn gets fired. Matter of fact, Andre Ivory, one of my first subscribers, a very adamant supporter of this channel constantly shoots me content he texts me he's like hey man they fired your boy i was like oh man i had to get up and do some stuff real quick on this particular subject because it was a hot topic at the moment gus malzahn being fired because i mean you know when you look at it six and four season pandemic all this other stuff at the surface you don't see why gus malzahn would be fired but when you look at where the program was potentially headed under his watch and you look at what happened as far as the Northwestern game with the assistant coaches and their ability to prepare these guys for that particular game, you're like, okay, it's starting to make sense. High recruiting classes, but kind of sketchy, no rhyme or reason. I'm going to do a video on that in a minute. Now, when I talk about the no rhyme or reason as far as the recruiting classes, there there's some real interesting layers that I want to talk about there. So let's get to this whole Tank Bigsby thing. Is he the best running back in the SEC? Maybe. I think so. I mean, I'm looking at video footage of a guy that has three people Three players that contact him in the backfield. We're going to talk about the offensive line too. But contact him in the backfield and he still makes a run for 11 yards. You talk about a guy that in an abbreviated season, all SEC competition. No buffer games like Akron, Alabama State, Georgia State to pad some stats. This is all straight up running. He doesn't start immediately. He's actually injured in the Tennessee game. And he still eclipses 800 yards, almost 900 yards. So if we'll, we'll just use, uh, we'll just irresponsibly utilize the pass for example tank bigsby with this same situation being able to abbreviate at least i'd say about three to four hundred yards in games against say georgia state and tulane and teams like that in between easy thousand yard rusher easy Look at his high school highlights. They downgrade. I mean, I don't I don't get how he was downgraded to a five-star recruit. I mean, a four-star recruit. Very good running back. Definitely the kind of guy that's going to show up to the big games. Very competitive. Now, let's talk about something that is not talked about enough. A factor that's not talked about enough. Strength and conditioning. Something that we probably know 
has not been a mainstay in the Auburn program under the Gus Malzahn regime, probably wasn't in the Gene Chizik regime. But it seems like the strength and conditioning program is probably going to be legit moving forward. I think Tank Beasley is going to be the kind of running back that the SEC, that the nation is really going to have to take account for. But the caveat to all that is where is his help going to come from? Well, we think we're going to get a little bit out of Sean Shivers. He's experienced. He's been in the program for quite some time. Can supplement some carries to help him out. Also, Jarquez Hunter will be able to help out a lot. I, I believe that out of all out of the all all of the non-tank Bigsby running backs on Auburn's roster, Jarquez Hunter is probably the more prototypical type of back that can endure some of the bumps and bruises of the SEC. You got a big game coming. Week three against Penn State. This is going to be the game that Tank Bigsby, obviously, Bo Nix, obviously, assuming. And I'm not going to assume. I think Bo Nix is going to be the starting quarterback going into the Penn State game. I don't, I don't think you can hiccup too much against Akron and Alabama State. But I think you're going to have a situation where the Penn State game will be the defining moment for not only Bo Nix, who I think is, is, is a really superior athlete. He's a great athlete. And given the right situations where he's not running for his life, might be a pretty good quarterback. We just don't know yet because we haven't seen enough favorable situations to dictate as such. But the defining moment for Bo Nix and Tank Bigsby is going to be Happy Valley against Penn State. Tank Bigsby, put, Tank Bigsby puts up an upwards of 180, maybe 200 yards. Auburn wins that game. You better go ahead and put my man Tank Bigsby on the ballot because it's going only going to go up from there as far as Heisman hype goes. What do you guys think? I want you to leave a comment in the comment section. Go ahead and like or dislike this video as you feel compelled to. It's always great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle.